Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Everyone, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay. Thank you, Geraldine. How are you today? I'm fine with hot. It's very, very hot in this moment. Oh, okay. Oh, where do you live? I don't know. It depends on the place, maybe. Uh, near Estadio Cuscatlán. Um, okay. Okay, we're going to wait two minutes to start the class. Okay, let me send um, a message by WhatsApp to have it ready because I send the, the link here, the video link. Okay. Have you been working in the platform? Doing the exercises with, with this unit? ¿Han trabajado en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Muy bien. Thank you so much um, for working in advance. Yo sé que están trabajando adelantado, ¿verdad? Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> This is a session number 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this week we are going to have classes on uh, on Friday too. Because the first day, el primer día, um, no se me grabó la clase completa, solo se me grabaron como 25 minutos. Entonces, eh, Es necesario que la volvamos a atender el viernes. Pero si usted tiene algo importante que hacer, más importante que la clase, no se preocupe. Just let me know, okay? We're going to make a review about the unit. Vamos a hacer como un repaso de la unidad. Okay, perfect. But if you consider that will be uh, that will be useful for you, si considera que le va a servir, uh, yes, we're going to have the class on Friday. Okay, very good. So we're going to start today. Uh, today is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. The agenda for today, uh, we have the lesson objectives. We're going to, we're going to study counts and non-count nouns, okay? Los nombres que se pueden contar y que no se pueden contar. Okay, vamos también a aprender a usar some and any. At the end, we're going to use them, uh, we are going to try to use them in a conversation, okay? Good. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify count and non-count nouns, okay? And also you will be able to use some and any. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to have this activity. Okay, let me share the sounds. Uh, maybe I don't have it. 
Let me stop share here. Let me share again, including this sound. In this activity, we are going to according what you think, okay? De acuerdo a lo que usted piensa. Si usted piensa que se puede contar o no se puede contar, okay? Countable or non-countable now, okay? What do you think about sisters? Countable. Okay, we'll be here. What about juice? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, what about lemons? Uncountable. Countable. Countable. What about sugar? Uncountable. Okay, what about Letters. Contable. Do you think that we can? Uncountable. Okay. Mm, mm. If you see the letters, um, it is difficult. Maybe we can count them. Si tenemos varias, podemos decir que tenemos como varias. Lechugas, Lechuga. okay. Ajá. Pero en ese caso, por las hojas que tiene, no. it, it is uh, it is like a not countable, okay? Yeah. Uh, what about tomatoes? Countable. Yes, we can count then. What about coffee? No Later on, we're going to see how we can make it countable, okay? Um, pero tenemos que saber cómo decirlo, okay? Para mm -hmm. que se puedan contar las tazas de café. Okay, what about milk? Uncount. No counto. No okay. counto. Okay. No what about apples? Countable. Okay. What about oranges? Contable. Okay. What about onions? Contable. Okay. What about bread? Not countable. Not countable? Not countable. Okay. What about dogs? Contable. Okay. What about eggs? Countable. 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 Okay. What about oil? Uncountable. No what about soup? So, no countable. No countable. Ketchup. No countable. No countable. Okay. Shares. Countable. countable. Cheese, no contable. And finally, so contable. Okay, let me see if we are correct. Yes, good. All of them were correct. Okay, muy bien. Okay, muy bien. Um, we can see, okay, the countable and non-countable. Okay, good. Okay, that is according what you think, right? De acuerdo a lo que ustedes piensan. Okay, let's move on. I have a video for you. This is the video. I would send to you the link. Le voy a enviar el link para que ustedes lo puedan ver. Uh, it has explanation in Spanish uh, too and in English. Okay. Si usted tiene ruido en su casa, please turn turn off your microphone. Okay, there you have the link. 
Let me send it here. Pay attention, please, to um to the countable and uncountable nouns and also how to use some and any, okay? Ponga mucha atención because later we're going to review that. Nouns.
Okay. Did you finish? Guys? Finish. Okay, Finish. very good. Okay. Um, lo vamos a decir, lo vamos a hacer en español para que quede más claro, okay? What is the, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre usar some and any? Do you remember? Any. Any es para lo negativo y some es para lo afirmativo. Ok, ok, afirmativo. ¿Y en qué más, qué más podemos utilizar any? Preguntas ofreciendo algo, que estemos ofreciendo. Ok, preguntas. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué otra forma podemos utilizar some? Offers or requests. ¿Verdad? Si ofrecemos sí. algo o pedimos algo. ¿Ok? Can I have Teacher. some water, please? Ajá. Y son lo ocupamos como también para cuando nos referimos a algo a, a plural. También. Lo podemos el, utilizar. Any. any también. O sea, lo podemos utilizar. Cuando hacemos una pregunta, ok, plural, que puede ser contable o no, o no contable, igual con el, el SOM, lo podemos usar como contable o no contable. Ahí dependiendo eh, cómo lo voy a usar, ok. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. We need, es positivo, ok. We need. Some eggs, ok. Oh, estos son contables. Y como no contables, también podemos decir, I need, ok, or we need some butter, ok. Eso es positivo. Negativo, we don't need any carrots, or we don't need any rice. There you have the example. Ok, como pregunta, también la podemos usar any. Do we need any onions? Porque no sabemos como la cantidad, ok? Pero sabemos que se puede contar. Eh, también puede, si usted sabe la cantidad, o va a utilizar eh, a o an, ok? We need an apple. Pero si no se sabe la cantidad de cuántas apples necesita, usted va a decir, we need any, do we need, como pregunta, do we need any apples, si es plural, porque no sabe la cantidad de cuánto va a utilizar, ¿ok? Ok, y si tiene un request o offer, también puede utilizarlo, ¿ok? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más recuerdan? ¿Qué más recuerdan del video? Que los líquidos pueden ser contables a menos que estén en caja, botellas, lata, vasos. Correct, yes. They can be countable if they are in, in containers, ¿ok? Obviamente no le vamos a poner el, el plural aquí a, a la leche porque eso nos puede, no le va a agregar S, sino que va a decir... Uh, Digamos, si tiene una botella, una o dos botellas de leche, usted puede decir, a bottle of milk, or two bottles of milk, okay? A bottle of water, or two or three bottles of water. 
pero nunca le va a agregar la S, nunca va a ser plural, plural el nombre, ¿ok? Porque aquí va a contar como los containers de S, producto. Ok, in the case of ice cream, ok, some ice cream, si usted lo tiene, um, lo tiene en un bowl, ok, en, eh, en lo que sea, vaso, puede decir some ice cream. Y ya, si ya lo tiene en, ¿cómo se llama? Cono. Cono. Si ya lo tiene en cono, yes, you can say two, three ice creams, ¿ok? Eh, en este caso sí se puede hacer plural. Igual con el pan, ¿ok? If you don't know the amount, si no, si no está cortado, Solo, solo menciona que tiene, dependiendo del contexto, si es positivo o negativo, puede decir any or some bread, ¿ok? Y si ya está cortado, puede enumerar las slices que tiene de pan, ¿ok? Uh, igual que, que las latas y los, y los vasos. You can count them, los puede contar, puede contarlos. Ah, pero el líquido que está dentro no lo puede hacer plural. ¿Ok? A cup of coffee, the same here. El café en sí no lo puede contar, pero sí puede contar las tazas de café. Igual con el agua, ¿ok? Three cups of coffee or a glass of water. Ok. Uh, con esos otros productos también que se pueden enlatar o embotellar, o en el, in, in the case de chocolate, que se puede hacer barra. You can count them if, si están formados en, en una barra, ok, en el case de los chocolates. Ok. Uh, a packet of crisp, a tin of tuna, a jar of jam, a bar of chocolate, a bowl of cereal. Ok. And see. Se puede contar, solo que esté en un container o en un paquete, ¿ok? En este caso del hielo, we don't know how to... How, uh, no sabemos medir la cantidad. Podemos decir any or some, ¿ok? En el caso que no sabemos la cantidad, podemos decir... Si depende del contexto, si es positivo o negativo, o es pregunta, usted va a saber que es, si va a aplicar any or some. ¿Ok? ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de esto? ¿De cómo usar el, el any and some? Like a countable and non-countable noun. ¿Alguna pregunta? No, no. Okay. Good. Now we're going to move on here. Ahora quiero que vean la explicación en el video que tenemos en la plataforma, okay? ¿Alguna de ustedes ya lo vio? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, what do you remember about that video? ¿Qué se recuerdan? ¿Algo que nos puedan decir? Es casi similar a lo que usted acaba de explicar para qué cantidades o dependiendo del tipo de pregunta que vamos a utilizar vamos a poner el N o el SOM. Ok. Good. Okay. Similar uh, Por ejemplo, que diga, we need some apple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's play the video and see what else you can learn from here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. 
Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions displayed, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. Okay, good. What do you remember about what you're having in your uh, fridge, uh, fridge at this moment? What do you need to buy? ¿Qué necesitan comprar? Si, si recuerda que tienen su refri. I need some eggs. Ok. I need some tomatoes. Good. Who I else? don't need coffee. You don't need? Any coffee. Any coffee. Ok. Good. Very good. Who else? Uh -huh. Christian, David, what do you have? Or what do you need? I need some uh, bread. 
Mira, a vos te han dicho que se van a reunir el okay. sábado. Ok. What else? Te han mandado un mensaje. Um, eh, no, I no, need... No, no, no. A bottle of soda. Ok. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Christian. Ok. Um, Patricia. What do you have in, in your house, in your um, fridge? What do you have? Or, or what do you need to buy? Me repites que no escuché. What do you need to buy? Uh, what do you remember that you have in your uh, refrigerator? What do you have? And what do you need to buy? Uh -huh. ¿Qué necesita comprar? Food. Talking about food. What I do need... You need. Uh huh. I need any chicken. Remember that any any chicken. Lo va a utilizar si usted lo necesita sería positivo, right? Sería some. Some. Sería I, some. Uh -huh. I need, I need some, some chicken. Okay. I need some juice. Just, okay, good, okay, very good. Here we have the example about the questions that we that we have. Um, do we need any eggs? Okay, si lo hacemos como pregunta, okay. Dice que podemos utilizar any, también el video explica que también podemos utilizar some, okay. Do we need some eggs or do we need any air. Como pregunta, puede utilizar ambos, okay? But if, when you give an answer, if that is positive, will be um, using some. If that is negative, any, okay? Okay, good. Uh, ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de esto? ¿Cómo utilizar some and any or about count and, and no count nouns? Do you have questions? No? No. Ya lo podemos usar? Podemos hacer un diálogo? Tiene una pregunta alguien? Please let me know. Okay, Maria Santos, uh -huh. Maria Santos, tiene preguntas? No? Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to apply some or any here. Okay. We're going to complete the conversation. Uh, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Okay. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's, let's make some. 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 Okay. Let me. Let me try there. Let's make some. some. Okay. Okay, do we have? Any. Mayonnaise. Any. Any. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. No. We, we need, need to buy? Some. 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 Okay. 
We need, uh huh. Some onions. To we need some, some onions. onions too. Okay. Um, sorry, I don't know why it happens. Okay, what about here? Oh, I don't want any. Any. Any, any right? Why any? Negative. Because it's negative, right? Okay, what about uh the next one? Some. some. Then let's get some. Celery. Some celery. Do you know what is celery? Celery. Um, Do you know what is the meaning of celery? Um, Apple. Uh, okay. Um, okay. No, I don't want any any um, any celery. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want any celery in my in my potato salad. But let's put apples uh -huh. here. Any apples. Sun apples. Sun mm -hmm. apples. In it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, muy bien, muy bien. Veo que sí ya saben aplicar. Eh, Saben aplicar how to use some or any, okay? Awful means like a, um, como bad, okay? Not good. Okay. Very good. Very good example here. Uh, who wants to... to Practice. Who wants to read the conversation? I need two volunteers. Okay, Oscar and Jenny. Okay. Jenny, you will be Amanda and Oscar will be Adam. Okay. Um the store doesn't have any potato salad. Yeah, we we have a lot of pot potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. Uh, I had onions. Then let's get let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Uh, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Okay, very good. Awful. Awful. Okay. Good. Uh, potato. Okay, here. Potato. Um... Okay, that was good. There is no new vocabulary, just salary, right? Just salary was new for you. Or do you have another new word? Tienen otra nueva palabra? Awful. Awful, okay. Awful. Good. Take note. Take note if you have new words. Okay. Uh, mayonnaise. 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 Okay, that is the way that you're going to pronounce. Okay, who else wants to practice that? Geraldine, uh huh. Who else? Me. Okay, Geraldine and Sonia. Go ahead. And Sandra, sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. The store doesn't I have any any potato salad. Well, we have a lot of potato. Let's make some. 
Okay, do we need any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onion. I hate onion. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's some apple in it. Let's put salt apples in it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Come on. Apples and potato salads. That's so say It's full. It's full. Hot full. Oh, like a o, out, out, out full, out full. Okay. Okay, mayonnaise. 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 Okay, like a, it is like the sounds mayonnaise. like a eh. Okay. Mayonnaise. 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 Mm -hmm. And uh, the other word is awful. Awful. Okay. Awful. 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 Mm -hmm. Awful. Okay. Good. Good. Someone else who wants to read the dialogue? Someone else? No? Okay. So we have another uh, practice here. Count and count down some sentences. Okay. Mom, mom is making mm -hmm. any and some or a. Some? Some. some. Okay, some teeth for me. Okay. Very good. Yes, because why some? Because what's positive, right? Yeah. Okay, what about this one? Is there? Some any okay. it's Annie. Any is Annie. there any 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 fruits? Is there any fruits in the house? Okay. Good. There is some. Any coffee in the cupboard. Any, any coffee in the cupboard. Any. Okay. Good. Okay, there aren't any. 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 It is in real life. The real life. Any. Okay. Good. Any. There is. A cup. A cup. A cup. Any. There is a cup of milk. There is a cup of milk baby. for the baby. Yes. 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 Good. Yes. There are some, some, some vegetables, vegetables in the garden. In the garden? Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. So do you have questions about this? Tienen alguna pregunta? How to use this this word? Questions? Virus. Fairy. Fairies. Fairies. Uh, it is like um. Cuando usted se imagina algo, o like a, si usted cree en algo mágico. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. There are any fairies in real life? Ok. Good. Ok. We're going to move on. We are here, we move on. 
Okay, we have a conver uh, another conversation. Who wants to participate? Reading the conversation. Come to my office. Speech for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, Geraldine. Who else? Okay, Christian, David, go ahead. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fi uh, have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, that was good. Tea. Tea, okay. Tea, green tea. Green tea, okay. Okay, that, that, that is interesting. Who... um. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. ¿Quién ha comido this kind of food for breakfast? Have you tried to eat fish for breakfast? Never. Never? Never. Never. Imagine at, at 7 a.m. eating fish. <laughs> no. uh, but you know. In, it's in, awful. En esos países de, de, de asiáticos, sí comen. Sí comen esto para breakfast. <laughs> okay. Good. Who else wants to participate? Ajá. Volunteers? Okay. Oscar Mauricio. Who else? Ajá. Jacqueline, Carolina. Okay, go ahead. Sarah will be Jacqueline and Kumiko will be... Uh, go ahead. Okay. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new, new things. Okay. Very good. Okay. Volunteers, de los que nunca me participan. Uh -huh. Volunteers, de los que no les gusta. Ok, Cecilio. Ok, en hey, Marlon, go ahead. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese Still breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish of fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try but I like to try new thing. Okay, very good. Style. Style. Repeat that, Cecilia. Style. Style. Uh, Style. Perdón, perdón. Yeah, Japanese style, style, style. 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 Uh -huh. okay. okay, Sundays. Okay, uh, interesting. 
repeat that, please, for the ones that is difficult to pronounce that word. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Good. Okay. Now we're going to have the conversation. I told you yesterday, prepare some questions to make a conversation. Um, volunteers, we're going to imagine that you are in a restaurant, okay? Who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? Baje la mandita, Marlon, porque usted, usted acaba de participar o quiere participar en esta. Marlon? Mm, no la había bajado, creo que estaba arriba. Ok, Perdón. ok. Cecilio, ¿quiere participar también en esta actividad? Ok. Ok, volunteers. Si no me dicen quién es voluntario, entonces yo me voy a la lista y elijo, elijo una pareja. Elija los teacher. Ok. <laughs> ok. Uh, de los que me han participado. Ok, Geraldine, give me one number. Sandra. Oh, usted va a elija a Sandra. Ok. And Christian David. Dígame un nombre o un número. One number or a name? Twelve. Twelve. Irma Jamilet. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm in the, in the incorrect list. Let me go to the correct list. Twelve. Jacqueline Carolina. Okay, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Carolina and Sandra Elizabeth. The same. Last ah. night. Okay, similar with that conversation. Tuvimos una conversación la, la yeah. noche anterior que era esta, ¿verdad? Pero la vamos a hacer similar. Ahora usted cambia el nombre del restaurante. ¿Cuál, cuál será el restaurante? Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. ¿Usted quiere ser la que ordena o la waitress? Waitress. Ok. Sandra. Teacher, sí. puede participar alguien más. Fíjese que se me está despertando el niño. Se me está cargando el niño. Ok. <ríe> ok. No, se me está despertando. Es que en la maca lo tengo ahí, pero se está moviendo. Ok, tomorrow will. Uh, ok, mañana va a participar usted, Jacqueline. Ok. Uh, Christian, give me another number. Ten. Ten. Ok. Fátima Natalia. Fátima. No tengo ninguna Fátima aquí. Fátima, Natalia. Ok, yo la voy a elegir entonces. Abigail de Los Ángeles. Usted va a ser quien va a llegar al restaurante y va a ordenar, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Uh, recuerden que primero lo que tienen que hacer es saludar, preguntar sus nombres, and then you can order. Ok, go ahead. Good evening to Kentucky. My name is Sandra. Here is the menu. Tell me when you are ready to order your food. Teacher, puede poner el ejemplo, por favor. Ok. Thank you. Let me see the menus. Are you welcome? 
Excuse me, what is your name? My name is Abigail. Her name is. We are ready to order pizza. In this case, well, we'll you're chicken. It will be the Kentucky, right? Yeah, chicken. Can I have pizza in the Kentucky? Mm, no. No. <laughs> okay. Burgers and chicken. Hamburger. <laughs> okay. It's pleasure to help you. Which uh, hamburger do you want? I want to do order uh, two and we have to coffee. Sure. Do you want to order a dessert too? Yes, I want to eat um pan. Uh, pancakes. She wants um just this cake. Thank you for your order. I will be ready in 50 minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Um, we need to improve. Okay, necesitamos eh, mejorar un poquito con la eh, pronunciación, but you are doing good, okay? Es, está bien, don't worry, you, you can make mistakes, you are free to make mistakes, porque esa es la forma que estamos aprendiendo, ok? But yes, try to, traten de um, practicar, ok, las cosas que a ustedes les cuesta un poquito, ok? También la estructura. This week, we are talking about food, we are going to continue doing this type of dialogues. Vamos a continuar haciendo este tipo de diálogos, ok, mañana, ok. También tenemos clases el, el viernes, así que eh, prepárense porque igual van a estar pasando. To make uh, dialogues, improvising dialogues, ok, van a imp estar improvisando. Ok, let me... Let me see who is here. Voy a pasar lista. Okay. Abigail. Yes. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Susana. Present. Brenda Maribel. Present. Cecilio. Present. Okay. Present. Thank you, Cecilio. Christian David. Christian David. Present. Darling. Present. Fatima Natalia. No, Fatima dejó de asistir. Okay, Geraldine. Jacqueline Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Vanessa. Present. Present. Jenny. Okay, Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Jose Alejandro. Present. Okay, Jose Alfredo. Present. Eh, Jose Álvaro. Present. Álvaro, usted me ha faltado, me faltó ayer, ¿verdad? Sí, ayer no pude, a última hora nos llamaron a una reunión también aquí en el trabajo y estuvimos aquí en reunión. Ok. José Serafín. Sí. Present. Juan Javier. Juan Javier. Carla Esther. Carla. María Santos López. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Moisés Josué. Present teacher. Norma Lisset. Norma. Um, Oscar Mauricio. 
Oscar. Present teacher, present. Okay. And what, sorry. Okay. Uh, Patricia Lisset. Present. Uh, Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Stephanie Carolina. Present. Okay, and Susana Dinora, no, no está. Okay. Okay, good, very good. Um Okay, thank you so much guys for your attendance today. I don't know if you have questions, but if you have, let me know by WhatsApp, okay? Um Si no pueden completar la plataforma, tienen algún problema con algún ejercicio, eh, escríbanme, okay? Bueno, bueno, está bien, yo tengo problemas ahí, estoy bien atrasado. Ok, bueno, entonces si tiene problemas, escríbame al WhatsApp. Después de las 10 puedo ayudarle, porque voy con otro grupo. Ok. Está bien. Good. Bueno. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good Thank night. You. Good, good night. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night. Bye, bye.